Personally, I think trail runners are the perfect hiking boot alternative. Sure, hiking boots have a place in your hiking tool chest, but for most hikes, you can get by perfectly fine with trail runners. This video looks at the pros and cons of hiking in trail runners and includes a buyer's guide on what to look for in a good pair of trail runners. In 2012, I ran my first Tough Mudder and bought my first pair of trail runners for it. Crushed the obstacles, but the running didn't go so well. So I hit the road and trained. And after running a half marathon down the Las Vegas Strip, I realized that the pavement just wasn't right for my knee. So I stuck to the trails and kept running and started actually hiking a lot more often in my trail runners. Trail runners have a lot of great benefits for hiking. They're lightweight, weighing about 10 to 11 ounces compared to hiking boots at two to three pounds. They have great flexibility uh, to help you get across the rugged terrain. Trail runners have virtually no break-in period, which to be fair, the Merrill Moab doesn't either. And then they're affordable. Right? You know, trail runners are gonna run you about $100 to $120, where most hiking boots are about $150 to $200. To add a little bit more detail around the weight, it doesn't seem like a big difference uh, when you're only talking about a pound, pound and a half. However, several studies have shown just three and a half ounces added to a shoe will increase the energy a runner needs to expend by 1%. You know, for hikes that are several miles and can last hours, that can really add up and put a great deal of strain on your body. For all the pros of hiking and trail runners, there's certainly some cons. If you plan to go on serious long hikes, trail runners lack the durability that a hiking boot has. So you're going to have to replace them more often. The grip on trail runners, although fantastic, definitely serve a different purpose than they do for hiking boots. Then cold weather insulation. You know, for early morning hikes or hikes in winter, you're absolutely going to want a hiking boot. Hiking boots have a purpose. And for long hikes, the comfort and protection you're going to get from a hiking boot is incomparable to trail runners. On hikingbeginner.com, we recently did a deep dive on hiking boots compared to various different footwears. Uh, that includes cross trainers, converse, combat boots, hunting boots, and cowboy boots. And of course, the trail runner. You can read all those articles in the description below. Hiking boots are unique. And when comparing them to different footwear, you have to look at what actually makes a hiking boot special. Let's take a look. The key components of hiking boots are the lugs, the grip and meat of the boot, the upper, which stabilizes the foot and protects your ankle, eyelet, to further secure your foot and keep the laces tight, the midsole, which provides cushion while allowing flex, and then the toe cap and the ran, which provide durability at the most vulnerable location of a boot, the toe. Footwear is by far the most essential article of clothing you can wear on a hike. Sure, in extreme cold and extreme heat, hiking pants and hiking shirts can be life-saving. But on every hike, you run the risk of dangerous slips and falls. A study on hiking injuries found 42% of hikers suffered from ankle injuries, 13% from head injuries, and 10% lower leg. And 70% of those hikers were wearing ankle-high hiking boots just like these. 58% were using hiking poles, trekking poles of some sort. For easy hikes on well-maintained trails, you can get by just fine with cross trainers. However, as you advance to more challenging trails, you can't discount how important it is to have a great hiking boot. These days, models of trail runners range. They range from the hybrid street and light trail models to the rugged and off trail models. When buying trail runners, focus on the comfort, the grip, and the drop. The drop is the difference between the padding on the heel to the toe, with runners generally having a higher drop and then your barefoot shoe having zero drop. Not everyone finds drop comfortable, so be sure to try different pairs and different drop variations to see how it feels on your foot. You're gonna wanna make sure that you have a pattern of grip that's close to a hiking boot. Many of the off-trail and the most rugged trail runners are made by the same companies that make the best hiking boots. 
That's Merrill, Hoka, and Solomon. And then the lightweight models are often the Nike, Adidas, and New Balances that really have become household names. And then comfort. You never know just how long a hike is going to take or where a trail is going to lead you. I made the mistake of turning a six mile hike into a 14 mile hike when uh, someone we met along the trail offered a shortcut. Never accept a shortcut from a stranger on a trail. By the end, my feet were killing me. And quite frankly, my trail runners could not hold up to that stress. If you're a runner and a casual hiker, I definitely recommend a pair of trail runners. But the moment you decide to step up your hiking, you're going to need a serious pair of hiking boots. To learn more, visit hikingbeginner.com, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned as we bring out more informative articles and videos just like this. Get out to the trail this weekend and have a safe and adventurous hike. Thanks for watching.